This video addresses the topic of cleaning and maintenance of the MB11 Barophone. The Barophone is a unique product for ABR screening due to its reusable ear cushion and stainless steel electrodes. No disposable electrodes or ear couplers are required. However, the components will need to be replaced periodically. The Barophone is a non-critical medical device since it contacts unbroken skin. It requires cleaning and disinfection after use to prepare it for use on the next patient. The instructions described here are not intended to supersede your hospital's policies and procedures for infection control. Be sure to consult those first and use these instructions as supplemental information. Cleaning can be performed with a disinfectant wipe or other type of towelette to remove residual electrode gel from the surface of the ear cushion and electrodes. After cleaning, take a clean disinfectant wipe to disinfect the surfaces according to the manufacturer's instructions. Use the disinfectant wipes approved by your hospital infection control department. Upon removing the disinfectant wipe from the tub, check to see if it's dripping liquid. If it's very saturated, squeeze out some of the excess liquid first to prevent liquid from dripping down into the barophone sensitive components, especially the speaker which is located deep inside the area surrounded by the ear cushion. Now, with the barophone oriented on its side, to further prevent any liquid from getting into the speaker, use the disinfectant wipe to wipe down all of the components, including all three of the electrodes and the ear cushion. Allow sufficient contact time according to the manufacturer's instructions, and be sure that the surfaces are dry before using the barophone on the next patient. At least two times per week, remove the electrodes for inspection. Pull the electrodes straight off. Inspect inside the black gel protector and inside the cavity that slides over the spring pin, looking for any sign of electrode gel or corrosion. The gel protector can be removed from the electrodes for additional cleaning and disinfection. Just place your fingernails between the stainless steel electrode head and the black plastic gel protector and slide the gel protector down the steel post until it can be removed completely. Repeat this for all three electrodes. Inspect the outside of the electrode post and area under the electrode head. Clean and disinfect if needed, being sure to avoid allowing disinfectant liquid to enter inside the electrode shaft when using the disinfectant wipes. Keep the opening oriented down to prevent ingress of liquid. Look down into the cavity of each of the electrodes to see if there is visible gel or corrosion inside. If anything is visualized inside this cavity, then replace the electrode because it's not possible to effectively clean in this small diameter shaft. Inspect inside each of the black gel protectors. If debris is visualized, Use a folded up disinfectant wipe to clean out any residual gel. Then after cleaning, use a clean disinfectant wipe to continue the disinfection process. Allow them to dry completely. If the electrode cannot be cleaned effectively, then replace it with a new one. In this case, we recommend that all of the electrodes be replaced as a set even if some in the set appear normal. You should keep a spare set of electrodes available at all times. We recommend that the electrode set be replaced every three to six months, depending upon your usage of the device. After the electrodes have had time to dry after disinfection, put the gel protectors back on the electrodes. 
place the electrodes carefully back onto the spring post and press them fully on. Be careful not to bend the spring post during this process. Periodically remove the ear cushion for inspection. Stretch the cushion out to the side and pull it off the plastic completely. Inspect the plastic underneath to see if there's any residual gel present. Also, inspect the underside of the cushion for gel or for any signs of damage to any of the vinyl surfaces. Alcohol-based disinfectant products will eventually cause hardening of the vinyl and then cracks can occur. Replace the cushion if you observe any damage. If you see evidence of gel on the underside of the cushion, first remove any gel with a dry towelette or disinfectant wipe. Also clean the plastic surface of the barophone that's under the cushion. After cleaning, use a clean disinfectant wipe to wipe down the plastic. Be sure the wipe is not dripping liquid and orient the barophone on its side as you disinfect it to be sure that excess liquid does not drip into the barophone speaker. When that's complete, then disinfect the ear cushion, including the inside of the vinyl pocket that attaches the cushion to the barophone. Be sure to allow the surfaces to dry completely before attaching the ear cushion back onto the barophone. Reattach the ear cushion to the barophone only after it is completely dry. Position it over the electrodes and then stretch around the circumference until the vinyl pouch covers the plastic edge completely. You should keep a spare ear cushion available at all times. We recommend that the ear cushion be replaced every six to nine months, depending upon your usage of the device.